In a previous tutorial, I showed you how you can use extrusion tool for model in place elements. And then there I've told you also that if you know how to use it and if you understand reference planes that you will be able to create families in Revit very successfully and the process is going to be very simple. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. But just before I move to Revit, I would like to invite you to join our free community of architects and interior designers. We have over seven and a half thousand members here. And next to the free community, you're also going to find the free Revit training as well as downloadable project files we have for our free Revit training. So you just need to sign up. It's completely free and you will find the link in a video description or simply type school.com slash architizy. And as I said, I'm going to create this table using just one tool and the reference planes. And because I'm going to make this as a family, I will go here to the file and then I need to pick a proper family template. So I will go to the family and I can just start with a generic model. Of course, that we can change this category later on, as I showed you that we can do that for the model in place element. So just click open. And then we have our plan view. So I think that it's pretty easy for you that you understand already how we can make it. But let me also show you how I'm going to do that. So let's just break down this. And OK, we have this base. That base has one height. Then we have this height here. And then we have some kind of thickness, which is, let's say, number three. And you probably assume, OK, <laughs> I'm going to make reference planes and then you are completely right. So what I'm going to do actually will be this. So I will make one reference plane here and then I'm going to make one more here and then I'm going to make one more there. So this is going to be one, two and three. So let's go to Revit and let's open front elevation. So let's go to the reference plane here and let's create one. And then let's create two and let's create number three. So it doesn't matter what is the distance between them. And I will just go to the plan view here. Let's go to create. And of course, I'm going to take extrusion. I'm going to take circle and I will make this one to be, it doesn't matter, you see it's 260. I can just click on this dimension. And of course that I can assign parameter to this. So let's make that this is this is A. I, I will just make it radius A. Let's let's finish this one. Let's go to the our front view. And then here I will just drag it and I'm gonna lock it. Uh, this is reference plane one. I will go to our plan view. Again, I'm gonna go to create. So there is one difference uh, between family and model in place. Here, you don't need to always enter the model of the of the family because we are in a family creation mode. So you see that I can just go and add new elements. So I will just go here to the extrusion, and I can, if I start right now, you see that it will start from from the reference plane. So what I need to do is just to go here to the set set work plane, and I'm gonna take this one. Let's set it, let's take circle, let's make this circle so it doesn't matter, 100. Let's make this as a parameter, so I'm going to make it as radius B, for example. And then finish this one and lock it to, to this reference plane. Then I need to go to the plane view again, and again, extrusion tool, circle, but anyway, First of all, reference plane, it starts from the second one and then circle. Make this as a dimension and then let's make this as radius C. Let's hit OK. Let's go to the front view, confirm this and then just drag it down and then lock it. Of course, I can just go to 3D view here and you see how it looks like. So let's open this family types and then you will see parameters here. So I can make this, for example, to be, let's say, 10 millimeters. This one to be 150 and this one is going to be 350, for example. So you see that it follows. This is OK. So this works super. But what's going on about the heights? Let's go to the front. And of course, that I can just make this to be height one. 
uh, it doesn't matter how you're going to uh, I will just place dimensions like this so what I would like to make is this a B and C for example so let's select this and let's make a parameter which is called H uh, height a for example this is height B and then this is height C click OK let's go to 3d and let's see what we can do right now so now we have heights and let's say that i would like to have this one to be 450 this one to be for example 250 or 275 and then i would like to have this one as 25 just hit apply so it, it's here and then we can also make it 290 or 10 and then boom we have it and let's say that I, that I would like to make this 75, this 5 millimeters, and then this 300. And of course, what you can also do is to go here to the family category and parameters. And then let's say that we would like to have this as a furniture. Let me save this family. And I'm going to name it as 0, 1, 2, 3, 6, 1, 3, 6 table. Let's hit OK. And then I'm going to load this one into the project so let's see i can place it as you can see and right now when i select it when i go to edit type you see that i can go to the type of course that i can create new type for example and then for that second type i can just replace those i can make this to be for example 250 i can make this to be 600 so let's take a look and of course that i can also increase all those radiuses for example to 150 so this is how it look like uh, probably you think okay <laughs> he forgot to add materials of course we can just go back to the family select this top part and i can just make this as material c and then i can i can add this one to be material b and then we can make this one to be material A. And keep in mind that all those parameters I created here as a type parameter. So if I select this and if I go to this pencil, you will see that it's type parameters. So let's hit OK. Let's load this back into the project. So let me show you something. You see that this table and then this one are different types so that means that of course if i go to edit and if i just replace them they will have different dimensions but i can control uh, i can control all those uh, information actually all those dimensions for a type so for example if i just copy this one a couple of times and if i select it so this is the table two type and if i just do the change here for example let's make this to be 450 and then this to be 150 something like this then you see that it will reflect to all of them and maybe you would like to have okay i would like to have uh, those dimensions to control with the type but i would like to control materials the other way around let me just show you this so if i just go here and if i assign materials so i'm just gonna take those vivid colors really doesn't matter then all the tables look the same let's go back to our family and let's go here to the family types and if i select this material and if i just go here edit parameter and make it instance and if i do the same for all of them so let's load this back into the project override now when I select it, you see that I have materials here in the properties palette. So if I just go and replace it, so it doesn't matter really what I'm gonna what I'm gonna add here. This part has a different materials, but they are the same type. And if I just go and do the any changes, for example, 450 here, it's going to reflect to all of the tables, but materials will look different because i'm controlling materials over the instance parameters 
I really hope that this is clear enough for you. I've just showed you in the last two tutorials how you can use extrusion tools in depth and then how, how you can also create families, how you can assign parameters to that family. And if you have any questions about this video, just feel free to write in the comments. And of course, if you are interested in leveling up your Revit skills, just join RKTZ community. It's completely free. You just need to sign up. Link is in the video description. And don't forget to watch this video.